So why would they even make this programming language to use these stupid things called arrays where they're pretty much like a list of items other than just making a simple string type where you can store a string into. And the reason for that is because you can actually do really awesome things when you have a list of items. So the first thing I, I want to show you guys is just that how to access an individual item in that list or the array. Now in order to do that you just go ahead and type the name of your array which is name. Probably should have named it something else because I'm saying name like 80 times a second and it's probably confusing but you get the idea. So type the name of your array which is name and then in the, in the brackets you can type um, it's pretty much the position of the element that you're looking for and I'll go ahead and put two. Now I want to mention this whenever you create a list or an array in C or any programming language it always starts with zero so you would think that okay um, B is one U is two so this is would print out U well actually it goes B is zero U is one C is two so this little piece of code right here is actually equal to C so then we can do something stupid like set it equal to Z and of course whenever you're using characters put them in between single quotes and what this is going to do now is say okay get the character that's at two position which is 0 1 2 which is C and set it equal to Z so now my name is going to be B U Z K Y so buzz key which is actually a pretty cool name if you think about it all right, so let's just go ahead and print this out now and see if it worked. All right, so the first one, of course, the original thing we wrote is just my name is Bucky Roberts, simple enough. Now, whenever we changed the second element in the array, and of course, like I said, each item in your array is called an element technically, but I'll probably uh, say item just because, I don't know, it like makes it sound more uh, like a layman's term or whatever. So, of course, we replace that and it says Buzzkey Robbers. Now, another thing I want to teach you guys how to do is an alternate version of having to type these manually. So, what you can actually do is you can define an array kind of like you define a, um, a variable. You can set its definition earlier and then you can give it a value later on. Now, whenever you do that, you need to explicitly say how many bytes of data you're going to be holding in that array because whenever your program creates an array it needs to set aside memory right then and there so if we define it say hey take up this much space on the computer however when we just um, define it and then give it a value on the same line we actually don't need to explicitly say how many bytes and the reason for that is this so let's go ahead and make something else I'll put food and I'll set this one equal to tuna greatest food ever now like I said the reason that you don't need to explicitly put five right here is because whenever it runs this line it can just go ahead and count the characters for you so it counts them says okay store five dice five bytes <laughs> bites of tuna anyways and it's gonna store tuna in food so now I'll show you guys these cool little tricks so this line right here is gonna print out tuna and I'll prove it to you guys Nope, it didn't because I put name instead of food. And we actually probably should change this. Um, best food is tuna. Pretty awesome program so far. My name is Bucky Roberts. My name is Buzzkey Roberts. The best food is tuna. Going to sell this bad boy to Microsoft for millions. Now, the last thing I actually want to mention that I wanted to show you guys is whenever you want to assign a new um, string to this array, then what you do is a little bit different than a variable. If it was just a variable, you put um, the variable name and set it equal to a new value or whatever. However, when you do it with an array, what you have to do is you need to use a function called strcpy. Now, this is gonna take two pieces of information. The first one is it's pretty much you have to tell it what array do you wanna change? Well, let's just go ahead and change the food array 
Now put a comma in the next piece of information is what string do you want to store in this array now? Well, let's just go ahead and change it from tuna to bacon. So now the food array equals bacon instead of tuna. So if we print out this line, print that bad boy. Of course, you can see the original one, the best food is tuna and it changed the best food is bacon because we switched or pretty much we gave the array of food a new value. So hopefully you guys understand about string terminators and how your computer actually needs to set aside memory and how we can take advantage of those by creating arrays and doing some cool things with arrays. So again, I know it was kind of confusing and if you have any questions, ask me on the forum. I can answer you or a bunch of people are also willing to help you. So for now, thank you guys for watching and well, see you, see you later.